Hello everyone. Welcome to the Domain Dresser. In previous video, I have shown you how to do the general settings and in this video, I am going to show you how to do the automation settings. Then click on automation settings. In this page, you can see the different functions are present. First is a automatic module functions. First is a enable suspensions to check the enable automatic suspension. So click on it. Next is a suspend days that is enter the number of days after the services next due date that you want to wait before suspending the account that is here already by default 5 is given. Next is a send suspension emails that is to send the services suspension notification emails on successful suspend. Click on it. Enable suspension is check to enable automatic unsuspension on payment. Next is a send unsuspension emails that is check to send the service unsuspension notification emails on successful unsuspend that is already checked. After that enable termination that is check to enable automatic termination. So keep it as it is. Next is a termination days. Here termination days are 30 means suppose my due payment date is first of this month and termination days are 30 then after 30 days from my due payment date my account will get terminated. Next is a billing setting. In billing setting here is a invoice generation it is a generate invoice 14 days before. Suppose I enter here 10. Then uh, it generate invoice 10 days before. So next is a payment reminder emails. And that is check to active invoice payment reminder emails. So click on that box. Invoice unpaid reminder. That is enter the number of days before the invoice due date. You would like to send a reminder. That is. Here 7 is already set. Second is first overdue reminder that is enter the number of days after the invoice due date you would like to send the first overdue notice. That is here I am going to set 3. Next is a second overdue reminder that is enter the number of days after the invoice due date you would like to send the second overdue notice. In there I am set 5. Next is a third overdue reminder that is enter the number of days after the invoice due date you would like to send the third overdue notice that is I am sitting here 4 and add late fee days enter the number of days after the due payment date you want to add the late fee that is here already 5 has given I am giving here 7. Next is a overage billing charges here two options are given. First is that means if you if your client ordered order the product on 5th of this month then invoice is generated after the one month that is 4th of the next month. And second is uh, if the client ordered the product 5th of this month then invoice is generated end of the month and further payment will manage in next invoice. So I am click here first. Next is a change invoice status that is allow payment reversal or change invoice status and next is a change due date that is allow payment reversal of change service due date. Next is a payment capture settings. In this settings first is a process days before due. Here enter the number of days before the due payment date you want to attempt to capture the payment. Here I am going to set 7. Next is a Attempt only once means check to only attempt the payment automatically once and if it is failed don't attempt it again. This is a good option then click it. Next is a retry every week for means enter the number of weeks to retry failed credit card processing attempt for weekly. Here I am going to set 2. Next is a credit card expiry notice date that is enter the day of the month that you want to send card expiry notice for credit cards expire at the end of the month. Here 
आई एम गोइंग टू सेट ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट इज ए डू नॉट रिमूव क्रेडिट कार्ड ऑन एक्सपायरी टू चेक डू नॉट रिमूव क्रेडिट कार्ड डिटेल्स वेन द एक्सपायरी डेट प्रोसेस क्लिक ऑन इट नेक्स्ट इज ए करेंसी ऑटो अपडेट सेटिंग हियर एक्सचेंज रेट एंड प्रोडक्ट प्राइज आर गिवन सो इन दिस केस आई रिकमेंडेड यू टू चूज ओनली एक्सचेंज रेट बिकॉज इफ यू चूज द प्रोडक्ट प्राइज इट विल चेंजेस द प्राइज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑन ए डेली बेसिस एंड इट विल नॉट लुक गुड सो चूज ओनली दिस ऑप्शन एक्सचेंज रेट्स नेक्स्ट इज ए डोमेन रिमाइंडर सेटिंग्स दैट इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमाइंड यूर क्लाइंट दैट डोमेन इज गोइंग टू एक्सपायर देन यू कैन यूज दिस सेटिंग्स फर्स्ट इज ए रिन्यूअल नोटिस दैट इज हियर आई एम एंटर्ड फोर्टी फाइव डेज बिफोर द रिन्यूअल डेट टू सेंड द फर्स्ट रिमाइंडर second renewal notice i am going to set here 30 and enter the number of days that is 30 and before the renewal date to send the second reminder third is a i am going to set here 14 that is here set as a before fourth is a i am going to set here 7 here is before and fifth renewal notice is i am going to set here 1 and After the renewal date to send the fifth reminder. Next is a free domain reminders. That is check to send reminders for free domains. Here already check this. Next is a domain synchronization settings. In this domain synchronization enable. That is check to enable automated domain synchronizing with supported register via con. That is you can change here as per your requirement. So next is a support ticket settings. that is in first if you want to close the ticket after 48 hours then enter 48 here you can set here 72 hours also next is a data retention settings uh, you no need to change here because it is by default set no need to worry about it next is a cancellation request that is check to automatically terminate accounts with cancellation requests when due Next is a update usage statistics that is check to update automatically when the cron runs. Next is a client status update. Here you can see the three fields that is disable never auto change client status. Second is a change client status based on active and inactive products and third is a change client status based on active and inactive products and not log in for longer than 3 months. So I have choose here change the client status based on active and inactive product next is a module lock training that is i have choose here never then click on save the changes you can see here our changes are successfully saved 